Well, hello there, YouTube. And <laughs> welcome to Friday, the uh, 1st of July. It is like close to 8 o'clock out here. That's the p.m. So, uh, yeah, going two weeks without mowing the lawn was probably not a good idea. That was a rough one to do, but I got her done. Gas her, always gas her up before I put her away. Blow her off with the Milwaukee blower. Sasha did the best with the lawnmower than she's ever done. She uh, she actually came out towards the middle of the yard at one point. So, uh, yeah, and she wasn't all shaking and freaking out when I was done. So I gave her lots of loves and told her I was very, very, very proud of her. There's old Sasha. Look how Kelly wraps her with the leash. She doesn't pull that way. She pulls too hard for Kelly. She gets excited. <laughs> you did good, Sasha. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Then Annie. It's got to go. Hi, sister. Come play. <laughs> Danny boy. What are you doing? Look at that. The sunset on that old barn. There's Abby. You two are always out messing around. Probably don't even want to know what you're doing. At the end of the day, it's ending quick. So, I've been looking at these things for a bit. And then this morning, watched a whole bunch of videos and reviews and stuff on it. So, I'm getting the Mantis uh, 10X. And also the Mantis... Um, laser academy they're uh indoor well even outdoor uh training tools uh, both laser and kind of a i guess you can call it a um what do you call it gyroscopic thing that uh not gyroscopic but the motion detector thing uh, the it literally escapes me so it tracks everywhere you're pointing it the other one is a kind of a snap cap type thing. It's a laser training tool. And Mantis, the Laser Academy has a thing. There's um, an app on your phone. Unfortunately, the app for the the 10X is uh, is different than the than the Laser Academy. It's it, but I think you can, if you sign up, um, you can join those things together. It uploads your your stuff, but you got to run the app separately. But anyway, uh, using your phone, it keeps track of, of uh, you hitting targets and they have all kinds of different um, like scenarios and training things, all kinds of stuff. This thing is just endless to it. So anyway, I decided to get that. But anyway, I thought um, you guys would like to see the red dots. Are they, they're not still out there jumping, are they? So here's the, ooh, it's getting dark out here. Would light look funky out here? I guess not. That's not bad. So on the P365 XL, they, and again, everything's empty. Magazines are empty. I, I don't need to show you that thing. I can't harm you through the internet. So this is the HS 507K X2. And I have the TRL, TRL or TLR 7 sub on that you guys remember i accidentally got the glock one. Oh, and by the way you do have to switch to a 1913 regular picatinny rail glock is not using their proprietary thing at least on this gen 540 but um anyway all of these have lights these do not have lasers but uh there's the red dots i'll try here i'll try to line them up so you guys can see the different the way they look through the different windows and the only way of you know i was talking about how you have the a, a physical thing on these two guns to see it both the uh 365 xl and the uh hellcat pro have a witness hole on the top so this is the hellcat with the hex wasp on it much smaller um red dot but they're, with the smaller guns, it, that doesn't bother me at all. Switching between two, you you feel the smaller gun in your hand, and immediately 
the, the smaller red dot doesn't seem to bother bother at all. She says, no, you, if there was something in there, you'd see it. I, I, what do I feel like I have to justify? They're unloaded. Magazines are empty. I see guys that show their guns unloaded and then put a loaded magazine in there. I'm like, that's a little sketchy. You do not want any ammo around when you're goofing off. The weirdest things can happen in life. So whenever you're doing these things, showing, you know, friends, your wife, whatever, absolutely without question, verify they're empty and no ammunition anywhere close to them. So I just touched on, I'll touch on that one more time. So, yeah, this is the TLR-7A on the, uh, both of these, I think, are 600 lumens or they're five. I get mixed up between the um, TLR or the uh, Olight Oldar Mini. I don't remember. But uh, as I showed you guys last night and this thing, that thing is magical. Big old bright window, a big old open window. It's very, very bright. It, by default, it opens up. I think in medium, or am I thinking of the of the hex over there on the ten millimeter? But uh, as I said last night, this is the Boldar S from Olight. I think this one starts in medium. That's the one that does the medium, but also a nice bright dot. All these work really, really well. And I mean, it just changes your, if you have any kind of eyesight problems, the difference is amazing. So slowly but surely, they're all getting red dots on them. It's so much safer. And like I say, you know, you're just, I'm going to point out here in the bush to see if what's this, this is the bright one. When you're looking at it, I'll never get this thing to focus. Um, you're like I say, you're not looking at the sights. You are just looking at your target. And with the red dot in the window visible to you, it just superimposes. So you're not, you know, going between, you know, the the front and rear sights and you know, lining everything up. So if you have any kind of, you know, sight impairment of any kind, a, a red dot on your uh, pistol huge change and i still you know make sure you you practice with other things too because i still you know have the regular hellcat and then the old uh um xds 45 acp but all of these and i purposely got all of these with the uh the slides from the factory pre-cut so that you can put a red dot on them Look at that things reflecting back onto that onto that paper. That's pretty wild, huh? Where is that coming from? This one? No, it's definitely well. You can't hide it. It's down in the bottom. Um, the uh, wasp, the battery is underneath it. So when I don't know, two or three years when it dies, you have to pull the um, red dot off. Um, you know what? The, yeah, the Holosan. 507k x2 battery is on us in that little door right there so is the the 508 same way it's in the door oddball size battery they're like 32 16s or i don't know what they call them it's, just, it's not as common as uh what is the most common one 1632 or something that's i think that's what you call them yeah uh, um, again, the hex on the 10 millimeter, the Springfield XDM Elite 3.8 inch. It's <laughs> so fun. What a difference when, cause all I have, all I can find, even, even hard to find online sometimes. And I do find them, but they're ridiculously overpriced. Uh, I'll wait. I got the patience of a saint. You know, the regular full metal jackets, 40 Smith & Wessons just floats through that thing like it belongs there. But every once in a while, I'll I'll spend, you know, a couple bucks or whatever it is around and lob one of those 10 millimeters through there. And <laughs> what, a, what a difference. Yeah, that, that is really cool, actually. Anyway, 
I, I was thinking about that that mantis training kit. Both of those things. If you look those things up, I was a YouTube watching fool. Got me way behind on building the vlog. I, I actually fell asleep last night. That's why I, I didn't mean to be late on yesterday's vlog. I was talking about the uh, the front pulley recall thing there. I apologize for that. But anyway, let me try to line these things up and uh, see if I can uh, see if you can see the windows. I think this thing's really weird trying to focus it. So uh, hang tight. So I'm sure this will be near impossible to show you. It's probably not going to focus on it, is it? Maybe. I would just wanted to show you what each one looks like. And there's the, yeah, it's not going to focus on it. But that gives you a visual of the size of the windows. That's the Hex Butterfly, the Holosan uh, 508T. And this is the uh, Holosan 507K or something like that, I think it is. And this is the hex. Um, oh, I got it backwards. No, that's right. The hex wasp. You can hardly see them, but that gives you an idea of what the the sight window is when you when you're looking through them. This uh, that 508 um, on that Glock is just magical. But anyway. I thought I could, I can't lock the the focus on them, so that's kind of weird. Anyway, I tried. Well, I did kind of find a way. I don't know if I can make them all do it. I, I need to turn that 507K up. You can barely see it against it. It's down really low. The Hex Wasp, it just auto based on the light. That's the clearest, sharpest one by far. And see if we can see any of the noticeable flicker. It's very minute, but you notice it on the on the butterfly or the uh, dragonfly. I keep getting those things all mixed up. Anyway, there's a little experience. Experiment in manual focus. This P365XL, um, that is Kelly's gun now. She loves this thing. She says, I've never, ever had a handgun that fit me like this. It's been many years, but she still says her Beretta, I forget what, it was a 380, it was a nickel-plated one that we had back in the 80s. I don't remember, model of 83, I think it was. So, you know, years later, I tried to get a copy of that thing. So we bought a Bursa. That was when, um, you know, all the kids, you know, that was just getting really expensive. And um, I'd started, you know, my own motorcycle repair shop. So we're being very frugal. So um, anyway, I got her that Bursa 383 um a i think it is and uh it's it's a single stack but it's fatter than a double stack i never did get her some grips for it and she always goes i love my beretta she don't even talk about the beretta anymore she loves that thing and typical kelly she only got one good eye <sighs> she can really embarrass you it's crazy but anyway Sorry about doing two uh, gun vlogs in a row, but I was all excited about that Mantis thing. And then I, I was going, you know, I should probably talk about the red dots. Because I, I touched on how my eyes are just getting to a point that a red dot just makes it so pleasurable to, uh, to fire them. Tons of fun. It just makes them so much more fun. Because it's not. It's... Like I say, it's it's almost like a long gun. You, I mean, you gotta have good <laughs> hand control and all that kind of stuff. You know, the typical stuff. 
But yeah, it's it's uncanny what you can do with a red dot and a handgun. This thing, to me, I when we play around, I usually shoot the Hellcat Pro and she shoots the P365. The 9mm stuff is readily available. Not as cheap as what it used to be, but I apologize about the nasal thing. The, the uh, lawn mowing thing is, is finally settling in. But uh, I apologize for doing two... Did I do them back to back? No, yesterday was the ride with the... Uh, on the Himalayan or the uh, Royal Enfield, the GT650. But I enjoy these things. Like we say, just day in life. We're just taking you through our days. And uh, this is one of the things we enjoy doing a lot. She hasn't shot the 10 millimeter, even though it's, I'm shooting 40 Smith and Wesson through it. Um, she's still spooked because it's loud. Especially with the 10 millimeters in there. Good Lord. The difference in sound between that and the 10 millimeters is crazy. But uh, anyway. Hope you guys enjoy this stuff. I know a lot of you do. And then every once in a while you get the little fluffy people that are, you know don't like it at all. <laughs> but it's uh, that's the way life is. Can't please everybody. So uh, anyway. Let's get a... I'm going to have to use... Um, artificial light here because it's getting kind of dim so anyway we're gonna bounce and do a quick little goodbye well hello there youtube <laughs> made it out here while still bright enough yeah do a quick goodbye no artificial lights you got enough of that going on in the, in the winter time yep it was nice today i think mid 70s low 70s yeah that was nice really yeah, foggy nice. this morning though but I got that godforsaken lawn done, though. That's the that's the biggest thing. It's amazing the difference. Yeah, I thought I was doing good, waiting two weeks. That wasn't smart. <laughs> <laughs> she was thick. Yeah. But anyway, you listen to me rattle on long enough. We're gonna bounce on out of here. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. Everybody around us nonstop target practice. Yeah. Well, I don't know how they afford all the all the ammo. I mean, I it know. never stops. Bang, bang, boom. Uh, something went off. Somebody sound like somebody set off a cannon just a minute ago. Yeah, it was a big boom. Yeah, I got the dogs running. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you in the morning. All right. Thanks for watching now. Bye. Bye-bye.